Let's face it, salespeople and marketers are usually really bad at communicating with customers. Here's how we're gonna fix it. Welcome to Trade Pending TV. I'm Matthew Davis, Chief Marketing Officer at Trade Pending, and I have done a lot of bad customer outreach. I'm better at it now, and I've got three tips for you today on how to make your customer communication better, whether that's a phone call, a voicemail, or an email. The problem is, is that salespeople and marketers, we both really like to talk a lot. We like to write a lot. We cram everything we know into one single bit of communication. There's two big problems with that. One, nobody cares, right? Nobody's got time to read all that. And number two, people will generally only remember one thing about what you're saying. So less is more. I'm gonna repeat that. And if you meditate, make that your mantra, less is more. All right, so here are my three best practices for improving your customer communication. Number one, bluff. I don't mean to lie, I mean bottom line up front. That's an acronym, y'all. What that means is if you've got something that's really, really important to say, that better be at the top of what you are communicating, whether you're leaving a voicemail, you're talking to somebody on the phone, or you're writing an email. Number two, as we've mentioned before, nobody cares about you or what you want, they care about what they want. Put all of your communication in the form of what's going to be helpful for that person to move them along in their buying journey. And if you've got more information to share, don't give them any more than three bullet points to consume, whether that's a voicemail or an email, doesn't matter, but really clearly say, yeah, hey, point number one is this, point two is that, point three is this, right? Make it really, really simple for people to understand. And number three, close with a question. This just helps keep the conversation moving. Hey, thanks for sharing all that with me. When can you bring the car in? Now that you've read all this, what other questions can I answer? So that's it. Three simple tips for making your customer communication better. See ya.